guys, how you doing? Coaching for the soul, Thursdays at three has begun. That week went fast. That week went really fast. So we'll see who pops on. A few things to talk about today, but welcome everybody. If you're watching in the future or the, or the future future, welcome to Coaching for the Soul. I do this every Thursday at three o'clock Eastern time. Hey, Kathy. How's it going? Chimes are revved up. We're ready to go. Yep, the chimes are revved up and ready to go. Yeah, me too. Me too. Lots of energy today. I'm, o I'm okay. Yeah, got a lot of emotions going on today. Yep. Hey, Liz, howdy. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah. So, it's, uh, the week went fast. Yeah, he definitely down. Gonna come screaming back this weekend, though. Humidity is gonna be crazy. Gonna be crazy again. So, we'll just stay in the house. Yep. Or go shopping. <laughs> One or the other, probably just stay in the house. Going shopping costs money. You know, buy stuff you don't need. Yep. You want it, but you don't need it. Yeah. So, I hope everybody's okay. Yeah. We'll see who else pops on here. Here we go. Here come some people. Awesome, awesome. Oh, got you. Yes, it will be interesting. School year will be interesting around the country this year. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to be interesting. Hey, Tracy. How you doing? Hey, Laura, what's going on? What is going on? Yeah. All kinds of energy today. Good, good, good. Hey, Laura, how you doing? Namaste to you too. Yeah. So, oh, yep. Can't believe the week went so fast. My God. It's just flying. I can't keep up. I cannot keep up with, with what day it is, but oh my God, it's crazy. Just crazy. August has flown, you know. Hi, Teresa. How are you? How's the weather in Vegas? Hot? Can you see the sun with all the snow, with all the smoke? It's gotta be horrific. It has to be horrific out there. Hey, Susan, what's going on? How's your day? I feel good. Thanks for asking. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, that's right, Tracy, you're in Arizona. That's right. Did you guys hear that voice that I got activated by them? They're, they're doing good, they say. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing good. Thanks for asking. So funny. That's my laptop. <laughs> That's how much energy is in my house. That's how many people are in my house, right? <clears throat> it's so funny. It just cracks. Did you hear that, Kathy? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. out of the blue. Chimes are going. That's going. Alexa's going. They're all answering the question I didn't, I didn't ask them. <laughs> so funny. Hi, Joyce. How's it going today? Did you hear that, Joyce? Yeah, that's crazy, right? Just crazy. Okay. Um, I know. That's my life. It freaks Lee out. He always gets freaked out. He's like, oh, my God. Can you just unplug him? I'm like, no, can't do that. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to pick them all up and take them to Hawaii, right? For sure. So, 
Um, I'm not sure when I want to do, okay, let me see, when, how we're going to do this. So I don't want to set the tone at the beginning. Hey, Petra, I'm glad you're watching. Um, let me see what Spirit wants. He wants to right off the bat, but I'm, I don't want to set the wrong tone. Uh, let me see. Okay, it's not going to let it go. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to discuss, and it's going to be very brief, okay? Very brief. Um, it is about staying, about, this is all kind of put, packed into a nice little package, okay? Hi, Adrian. Hi there, hi there, hi there. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about this for just a couple of minutes, okay? Non-masking, masking, vaccines, no vaccines, okay? It is all a repeat of last year's election, okay? The energy is the same. It is very, 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 either you're for it or against it. There's no in between, just like you're for Trump or you're for Biden, same thing, okay? Don't let yourself get caught up in that. Don't let yourself get caught up in that. Get off social media, delete the person, delete the post, all that kind of stuff, okay? Because it's going to lead to us as a collective, if we buy into it, right? Into the debate, into the energy swap. And that's all baloney, okay? Don't do it. Hi, Laura, are you working? Okay, we'll catch the show later. Take care of yourself, sweetie. Um, understanding that it sucks so much energy out of your body in a negative sense, or in a positive sense, and brings you back negative energy because it's something in us to defend our truth, Spirit says. Whatever we believe, right? Doesn't matter what you believe, what you don't believe, anything like that, okay? And I made this decision yesterday, okay, that I'm done, right? Because there's, even in my community, there are people that are into it, right? That are like pro this and pro that and everything else. I'm not doing any of that, okay? So I may rescue for a while if you are one of those people. I hope I don't have to, right? Because I get people's, you, know, you get people's feeds and stuff, right? Um, I will completely restrain myself from posting anything like that, from um, um, anything that I believe, right? It's strictly going to be spiritual messages, Okay, so I would ask you all to do the same if you possibly can, because the last thing that the collective needs um, in the fall and the winter is for us to choose to engage. Okay, the e and, and Spirit gave me this analogy the other day with a client, a client friend, okay, about the virus, because she was concerned in this and that. That the virus, if if you put the virus in the Sahara Desert or in Death Valley in the United States, right? It would disappear. Now, if you put the virus in LA or Detroit or Chicago or Atlanta or anything, right? Any populated area, the virus is going to explode. It's a virus. So it's going to mutate. It's going to mutate, guys. Plain and simple, plain and simple, plain and simple, plain and simple. Okay, so I believe in science. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, and there's people out there that have all this misconstrued stuff, just like they did with the presidential election. Okay, so I'm just saying that, that that's a good analogy, right? <clears throat> if you put the virus where nobody's there or everybody was inoculated, right? Everybody had a shot. It was all good. Had nowhere to grow. Then it would disappear because of the heat and everybody's inoculated, right? So that's what that is. I'm not doing it. Um, if you find yourself reposting and things like that, um, I may silence you for 30 days or I might unfriend you. Don't take that personal, okay? But, um, but last fall was a absolute, hey, Kimberly. Oh, you're in Arizona, awesome. Um, don't take that as um, what happened last year I don't want that energy around me anymore, right? It was hellacious, right? The freaking of the year was, was horrible, right? So it's all about understanding that we have a choice. And, um, and as we raise our vibration, right? If you're in these um, spiritual playground group, you know, Tammy's free group and things like that, or in the pay for group, as a collective guys, we're raising our vibration, we're raising our frequency, right? Don't allow yourself, don't, I know, 
Don't allow your 3D self, right? Right? All our souls used to 3D. We used to fighting for fighting for what we believe. Okay. Pull that back. Stay in a higher case, a higher state of consciousness. Spirit says, and let it go. Okay. Do whatever you have to do on your end to protect yourself. Okay. Um, whichever side you want to be on. Okay. Because it doesn't help you at all. Okay. Okay. Cool. Done. Okay. The big thing today is there's all kinds of stuff going on going on in the universe. Okay. The the sun, this hang on. The sun, Jupiter, and the moon are all in Virgo. Okay? So you've got all this earthy energy from Virgo, right? And you've got the energy of the sun, the the um, motion of the moon, and Jupiter's get up and go but it's retrograde. So it's not so get up and go right the, at the moment, right? Which drives people that are Virgo nuts. So so if you feel the push and pull spirit says, right? I'm into it, but I'm not. I'm into it, but I'm not. I'm excited, but I don't know why I'm not. I'm excited, but I don't know why I'm not, right? From day to day to day to day. It's that, okay? It's moving, okay? Jupiter is gonna stay in Virgo retrograde. I think it moves into Leo next, going backwards. Um, I think so, I think that's where it's at. Um, and of course, the moon zips around, the sun zips around, sun will go into, um, sun will get out of Virgo on the 22nd of September. So it's gonna be there for another 12, blah, blah, 28 days, okay? So that's a good thing, because uh, Virgo energy is, is um, earth energy. It helps you feel grounded. It, um, and look at it in your birth chart, right? If you haven't done your birth chart, Google free birth chart and Astro Lab will show up, right? Hit Astro Lab, put in the day you're born, where you're born, and the time you were born, if you have it, and boom, you're, you, it will pop it up, print that bad boy out, you guys. I'm telling you what, because it will help you understand your personality, your emotions, why you think like this, why you think like that, it really can give you the tool to help you to understand more and more about yourself, okay? Now, protection, okay? Understanding that we have to protect ourselves every single day, right? When we wake up in the morning, we want to do our affirmations, right? That's the best time to do them. Um, and do your I am, set your intention for the day, all that kind of cool stuff. And then you ask, you know, okay, spirit, watch over me, keep me safe, surround me with divine white light. Archangel Michael, take care of me, right? However you want to word it, okay? Because as we go into turbulent time, spirit says, okay, more and more of the collective is going to be energized to reach higher, to a higher vibration, okay? And you guys are all part of that. Everybody's at a different level, right? Everybody's at a different stage of, of not really belief, but of understanding, Spirit says, right? And, and he also wants you, wants you to, to reaffirm that, you're part of the, that you are part of the collective, which you are, okay? There's billions of us, right? And, and it's all about moving forward, moving into fourth dimensional energy and fifth dimensional energy and actually understanding who we are more and more and more every day, okay? And part of that protection, Spirit says, is going through and using the tools that we have to take care of ourselves, right? You know about the three fingers, right? On your chest, on your breast, tap, 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 tap. Because uh -uh. he says fear is going to be rampant through the fall. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I don't understand what's going on. That is to solidify your spirituality and your beliefs. Do you believe it or not? Right? Right? They're going to test us. They're going to absolutely test us for the, next, for the next six months. Okay? Because as we go into 2022, just like 2021, things are going to be boom and it's going to be fantastic. Because Jupiter goes direct December 21st, I think. Okay? the biggest planet in the solar system. All of a sudden it's not going backwards anymore, it's not muted. It's bullying, I mean, just bulldozing forward, okay? So 2022 is gonna be a fantastic year. So we have to, as the ebbs and flow, right? 
We have to make sure that when we feel yucky, right? When we have when we have a bad day or a bad two days, that we it clicks on. Say, oh no 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 no. Spirit, gotta take that fear away because that's not mine. I don't know what that fear is, spirit. We gotta take it away. It's not mine. It disappears. Okay, okay. And then if you're not in the spiritual group, let me know. Tammy Braswell Spiritual Group, that's free, and I will send an invite to you, okay? Energy Blast is Monday at one eleven, you guys, okay? And Kimberly and I can tell you for sure, Liz can too, that stuff's amazing. It is amazing. Liz posted a question to Tammy, I think it was yesterday, about the her tingling on the side of her left he side of her head and things like that. Tammy answered exactly what I would have answered. Okay, it's connection, baby. It's connection. Those energy blasts blast the freaking plug out of the top of your head, and you're able to rise higher than you've ever risen before in frequency. And when you rise in frequency, we all know what we get everything. And that's the key. He also says you need to proclaim that I want everything. And what does it mean? What does everything mean? Does it mean you're, does it, mean the basic stuff happiness and long life no 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 specifics baby specifics specifics right right what you want i want a million dollars right hell yeah who doesn't want a million dollars don't set up for less spirit says no say don't do that if you want five hundred thousand dollars fine but don't settle for fifty thousand ask for more right? But you got to believe you deserve it. Hi, Emily. Right? Right? Um, um, Adrian, I've been in higher consciousness circle for five months and my vibration is 75% higher than it's ever been in my life. I mean, I cannot believe how high my frequency is. It's fabulous. Well worth it. So well worth it. I'll, I'll be the spokesperson for that because my life has changed dramatically. It is so worth it. I do everything that comes up. Um, she has audio things and things like that. Yeah, it's phenomenal, okay? Um, because she was guided to me, right? Spirit brought her to me so I could bring her to you guys. Liz's been, Liz's been there for three months. So understanding, guys, that, 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 that what you want, I want everything. Okay, we'll pick the things out. I want a new house. Where do you want it at, right? I want a new, I want a, um, I, I want $500,000. I want to uh, get my education. What do you get your education in? Blah, 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 right? Make intentions real. Set your, set your intentions, right? And understand that they're not gonna change if you believe you deserve it. I believe I deserve everything, right? As a Capricorn, if I, I'm gonna work towards it anyway, right? In this part of my life, this part of my journey, right? It isn't physical work. It is spiritual work, right? It is spiritual work. It is being conscious. And I'll say that a million freaking times. It's about being conscious. If you go through and you're not conscious, you are allowing yourself to wallow in 3D. It doesn't serve you at all, at all, say, that's ego, right? And I had an epiphany today with a client, right? Friend. Because I've never thought about this before. All the things that are negative, right? This works in the consciousness, right? All the things that are negative that you carry in your heart are corded to ego. There's a cord that goes into your body, right into this, 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 um, this package of four, five, six, four, five, six things. My childhood bullying, um, being sick as a child, uh, being gay, uh, being bullied, um, abandonment from my parents when I was in the hospital for, for weeks at a time, you know, all the fears, all the stuff, right? And then what you do is, when that comes up and you're tapping, right? Uh, no, 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 Mark, we, we, gotta get, we gotta get rid of that out of the queue because uh, no, 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 uh -uh, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm leaving that behind. I'm leaving it behind. And that's what you got to do, right? That's about being, that's about being conscious. I move a lot, I notice. Um, I always have, sorry. Um, understanding, right? That, that, that when you're conscious of what it is, 
you're able to let it go. You're able to get rid of it, right? I tap it. Okay, spirit, no, no, no. I've worked on that, and that's done. That needs, that needs to be gone. Needs, and stop asking, oh my God, what, what, what is that? Oh my gosh, what else do I have to do? Oh my God, no, 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 no. Do the spiritual, right? Do the playground, all right? Every other Monday at 111, pretty much, right? If you're in the HCC, the, the, um, the other group, um, you get one every week, every Monday at 111, right? Um, it depends on how, it depends upon how invested you are in it. But also, I understand the money aspect, guys. Um, ask, Spirit just said, ask for the money to show up for the, for HCC, okay? okay? Right? Because they'll bring you what you want, truly, right? Need you to bring me $200 a month for HCC um, because I think, because um, I, I, because I know I should be doing it. I know that I deserve it. And guess what happens? Boom. Then you got to be conscious. Okay, that money right there is for that. You got to join. See? Yep. See? So I hate to be a walking advertisement for that, but it's pretty great when it ties into your consciousness, right? And, it, and, and you understand more and more about who you are. And as you raise your frequencies, you raise your vibration, um, you see more, right, of what's there, and you can clear it out. Did I ever think I would be this focused, be this clear on what I know? Never. That's why five months ago, Spirit brought me Tammy on my iPad. Blink, she's doing this something, and all of a sudden her face appeared. Oh, I guess I'll watch this. Because Spirit said, watch this. Okay, I guess I will. Sat down and watched it. My first energy blast. Okay? So, again, that helped me raise my, con helped me raise my consciousness. And all Spirit also says that, 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 that as you raise your consciousness, you're introduced to, to your higher self. The, 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 the higher self that knows. The higher self that makes you feel comfortable. The higher self that... that, that that, that, that believes in who you are because you, because you do, okay? And then you have to be prepared for people to fall away, right? Because as your vibration changes, um, uh, as your vibration changes, people don't like the vibration anymore. You know, they, they, some do, some don't, right? Children will say, wow, mom, wow, dad, um, what did, wow, you're always nice now, or you're always really cool now, or, 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 man, I love you, mom, I love you, Why? however kids are going to react, right? Because you shifted your energy from being a mom that's overstressed, or a dad that's overstressed, and tired, and exhausted, and, 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 um, and, uh, um, uh, wallets empty till payday, things like that. So raising your vibration makes a huge difference, you guys. Okay, and as we go into the next six months, it's going to be brutal. Okay, if you can help it, don't watch the news, right? Just be spiritual. Do everything that you possibly can to um, to uh, uh, to protect yourself, right? Limit your social media, stuff like that. Okay, because the last thing that you want to do is revert back after the year of growth that you've had, James, right? Back into that position in the 3D, which you will not, but it will feel like you did. And that's what we gotta make sure that you don't do, guys. Okay? It's very, 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 very important. Okay? Do I believe, do I believe more than any time in my life? Am I confident we're moving? Yes. Do I know where? Hawaii works for me, right? Who knows? My best friend moves tomorrow to Sarasota, Florida. Could be there. I don't think so, right? But I got the message yesterday that, okay, it's time to move. It's time to move, okay? It's time to, to uh, get, out of the, get out of what's old. I've been here going on 12 years next week. Maybe tw my, I'll be into my 12th year next week. Oh, no, no. I've changed so much in 12 years. My energy has shifted, right? Everything has changed. See? 
And now that I'm in this place, I could leave everything behind, like we are going to when we move to Maui, plants and everything, and just move. The negative thing on that is that I know that Bailey has to pass away before we move to Hawaii. So um, he's been sick, been sick for the past two months, right? He won't take his medicine. He eats three times, four times a week, right? He's slowly declining, right? And so, so that tells me, okay, okay. Another thing, guys, there's no such thing as, as, as coincidence, okay? There's not. Everything is planned by your spirit guide, your guardian angels, and your soul journey. Example, did a surprise reading yesterday with a person from Jackson, right? Who graduated from the Catholic school there and, um, and knew people that I grew up with. She kind of said, you re you're recognizable. I've heard your name before, some other stuff, right? Oh, okay. So we do the reading, right? I mean, she, she bought the reading at five minutes to five because she came across me on Instagram. Interesting, right? Not a coincidence, right? So we do the reading, blah, blah, blah. And then um, and she says, um, yes, yeah, so I used to live in Hawaii. And I'm like, oh, really, where? She goes, I lived in Kihei. And I'm like, where? Kihei. I lived there, that's where I met my husband. He's Pol he, he was Polynesian, because her husband passed away a year ago. He was Polynesian, and that's where I met him, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, really, where did you live? Oh, I lived down in South Kihei Road. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. I said, well, I'm gonna buy a house on Halama. She goes, oh, that's just, that's, <laughs> that's just one street north of South Kihei. I'm like, yeah, I know. That didn't happen by chance, guys. Another confirmation, right? It continues to happen again and again and again. When it happens as often as it does now, I believe we're gonna be there sometime this year. See, that will be fantastic. The negative thing is Bay has to go, you know, Bailey's gotta pass away. So, see, today I was, um, again, my friend is moving tomorrow. We've never been more than five hours away from each other. We could always drive to see each other, blah, blah, blah. We grew up together in Jackson. His mom and my mom were pretty great friends. They lived type five houses away from us, right? And I'm putting Bailey in bed this, this morning and Spirit says, lots of sadness coming as I put him into bed. My friend's moving. I don't know when I see him again, right? I can't travel because of Bailey, right? And um, I think he's gonna pass away. So again, see, things are starting to happen in a positive sense, but then when Spirit said, Bill, it's change. The energy is shifted with John moving, right? Which sets everything else into motion. Bailey just woke up and he's looking at me like, what? Yeah, see? One person, guys, can set a chain reaction of change into motion, okay? Understand that. And under, it, it could be a good friend. It could be a friend that you've known for a year, right? It could be a dog you've had for five years or a cat you've had for 20 years or whatever, right? Understanding that at this moment right now, as we move forward, things are going to change at a dramatic pace to lift the collective up into more 4D as we go into 2022. Okay, let it happen. Be conscious of that, right? Be conscious of that. Hey, Betty, right? Be conscious of it. Because I don't want anybody to miss the clues because they're there, right? Understanding that. that, that as you get closer to things manifesting, they will let you know that it's coming. Do I know when? No. And I've learned not to worry about that. It's not my control, it's theirs, see? Talk to some people again this week about the exact same thing, and I will talk to you guys about it too, is the fact that the more you control it, the more you want to control it, the further away it gets. Remind yourself of that when your ego starts to spiral out of control, right? When your little person inside is like, but I want it now. I don't understand why I can't have what I want. I don't, because honey, it's okay. It's okay, I, we're grown up, we're good. 
Don't worry, it's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. It's like, <laughs> it's like having, wanting ice cream and not being able to get it. Yeah. If ice cream's your thing, which is my thing. See? Hershey bars with almonds, my thing. See? So understanding that, that, that patience is a virtue. You have to learn patience before you get the full abundance from the universe. Have to. Okay? And then what you have to do is you don't want to slow it down when that baby starts rocking and rolling because human will. I feel overwhelmed. I feel, no, 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 no. Get that out of the way. Don't feel. No, no, no. Don't feel. Don't feel. Don't feel. That emotion does not work. That's all tied to your ego. That's ego trying to tell, oh, no, no, slow down because I'm afraid. I'm scared. Because that's what, that's how fear pops up without us knowing what it actually is. See? Fear's in all of us. Time to chimes. See? And understanding that fear's underlying, it's just underneath the surface, fear says. It's underlying. Do we get rid of it? Yeah. Eventually. By being conscious. We have to be as conscious as possible. Right? Not that you got to be on alert 24-7 because that's not what it's about, but living, in, living a conscious lifestyle. When, when something happens in your mind, right, or in your heart, you go, hmm, you stop and go, okay, and don't let yourself sit with that, right? I caught myself, th I caught, I caught myself this morning within minutes of feeling sad about my friend moving away. Yeah, we've been best friends for like almost 35 years, right? He knows everything. I know everything. His family's my family and vice versa, right? We're kind of like brothers in different households. Again, he is my non-sexual soulmate. Same. Because this happens. It happens all the time like that, right? Another point of consciousness, Spirit says, right? So understanding those things and staying as conscious as you possibly can is what it's all about. Being conscious of your fear when it's masqueraded as something else, Spirit says, right? Understanding that it, that it could be tied to something else that you thought was okay. That's what Mercury Retrograde is all about, right? When Mercury Retrograde pops up on all of us every three, every three, three and a half months to get us to, 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 to relive and, and heal something we haven't taken care of in our, in our psyches yet, in our souls yet, right? And understanding that. And not allowing ourselves to freak out. Asking for help. Right? Getting on my Facebook page, right? And da 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 da. Watching, coaching, watching old coaching for the souls. Things like that. Right? Reaching out to your friends. Right? Um, it's, it's really, really, really important. Um, opening up your throat chakra, right? And asking for what you want. Right? If it's healing, doing the energy... Energy Blast every other Monday at 111 for free. See? Making that something you do, it's on your calendar. The alarm rings at 1 o'clock, so you're ready for 111, things like that. See? Spirit says dedication. Dedication, dedication to your consciousness. Because it, it, can, it can actually, it can actually help you to evolve, Spirit says. It can actually help you to evolve because you're conscious right so any way that you have to do it do it right so that you don't forget do the same thing for coaching for the soul right right so understanding that still doing your guided meditations right you've got all these tools available to you to allow yourself to raise your con to raise your consciousness to raise your vibration your frequency right and not allowing the outside world Facebook, Instagram, the news, um, um, uh, uh, anything like that. Don't let that infect you. Okay, do not let that infect you. I was a news hound my entire life. Not any longer. I don't watch morning news anymore, right? <clears throat> I might watch something in the morning for a, like, a Good Morning America for a, like maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then it's gone. See? Because there's too much stuff going on in the world that, that, that affects me. It affects everybody, chimes. And because I'm conscious, I choose not to allow that to infect me.
see? That's why you gotta be really like, okay, you gotta be on point all the time, Spirit says. You really have to be on point all the time to make sure that you understand that you can get sucked in. Even if it's on the TV and you're not paying, not paying attention to it, you're still absorbing that energy. Because you, what will happen is your ego will turn you toward the TV or you will listen out of this ear or this ear, whatever it is, one ear, as you're doing something, you're still gonna get that. And eventually your head is gonna turn towards the TV or gonna turn towards your laptop, gonna turn towards your phone, gonna turn towards your iPad or your tablet, okay? Because that's the way that it is. That's the way that it is, okay? Because we're programmed in the third, in the third dimension, right? That's what our soul, that's all our souls know. So as we move into the new dimensions, right? the age of Aquarius, we have to be more conscious, right? And it's easy to fall back on who we used to be a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, God forbid, right? So that's what, it, so that, so, so that's what this next six months is gonna be about. It's gonna be intense, guys. I'm gonna tell you very, I'm gonna tell you straight out. I'm gonna tell you straight out, okay? Um, it's just, we have to protect ourselves. We only have to wear a mask. We have to, we have to make sure that we wash our hands. We've got to make sure that we turn the TV off. We've got to make sure that we don't watch social media, blah, 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 right? Watch YouTube. There's cool stuff on YouTube. Watch Facebook, watch. That freaking stuff's amazing. I mean, it's all kinds of cool stuff that I never, was, I never knew was on there, but it's cool, right? I like it. It occupies my thing when the dog's not asleep yet, and Lee's not in bed yet, so I can just kind of put my buds in and just kind of watch these. I like wildlife stuff, right? It makes me calm. It makes me very, 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 very calm. But that's why Maui Live is on the TV every single day, because I can look at that and go, that is absolutely beautiful, and I will be there soon, okay? Again, that showed up in my life last year, right? Out of the blue, showed up on my TV from YouTube. I. Lee says I, that I must have had to had to hit something on my phone. Well, I didn't hit anything on my phone. Kind of like this tablet that had Tammy Brazewell on there five, uh, five months ago, right? Because I'm allowing them to do what they have to do to get me there, right? Because I'm constantly asking, okay, what's next? I need your help. What's next? And you guys should too, okay? Never settle. Okay, never settle. If something, if you just had a break, great through, breakthrough, and you um, and and uh, you need it to settle, then give yourself a couple days. But then, whoosh, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's 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 next? And the reason that you want to do that to keep them engaged, talk out loud all day, right? I'm telling you, so many people fall back into old patterns of not talking out loud. And they wonder why they're not getting, oh my God, all of a sudden, Bill, everything stopped. Well, of course it stopped. Because you're not conscious and you're not talk, talking to them out loud. Oh yeah, I went back to talking to my head. They can't hear your head. Your throat chakra's clogged again. Mm -hmm. You want to talk out loud because you can give, the, you can give your, your words energy, Spirit says. Which is true. With your passion. With your angst. Right? Because they don't care what you say, how you say it. Right? I talked to a woman yesterday who could not be strong and tell, just not be forceful and, 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 and own her stuff. Well, you're going to have to eventually. Because it's only going to be a slow progression downhill until you finally go, okay, self preservation is going to kick in. Like, okay, stop. She's conscious? Yes. But not, but not conscious enough to take care of herself. There's a lot of people like there's a lot of people like that, right? Right? So understanding you have to be strong, not intense. I mean I'm intense. Strong, conscious, right? Understanding that um, that in my um, in my um, uh, affirmations every day, right? I'm setting my intention. I'm gonna raise my vibration so high. Yeah, right? I want everything. And I want it ASAP, and I want it ASAP. It's been seven years, right? Is it gonna come the way they're supposed to come? Yes, yes, see? And I am consciously calm, right? But when I get the, when I get the, 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 the message that 
Um, and we're done here. Yeah, Bill, I think we're done. I mean, yeah, I am done. I'm done with being in this apartment. I'm done with be having the stuff. We're gonna give it all away, right? I'm done, yeah. Because we all get like that, right? Many times people will, will, will they'll, 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 and you can do this too. My mother did this all the time. Paint the living room, paint the bedroom, right? Whatever you gotta, whatever you gotta do to make it feel better, to make it feel different, more comfortable, something new. Because my mother and father couldn't move out of the house. They didn't really wanna move out of the house. My mom did not wanna move out of the house at all, right? Right? So understanding that and going, okay, I guess I can do that too, but I'd rather move, right? And I think I got one more move in me. And then I'm not moving again. I'll paint, I'll own a house, right? I'll do whatever I want to do to it. Whenever I'm there, see, see? So opening yourself up and continuing to do your basic stuff, right? That means you're conscious. And then allow yourself to build on that. Allow yourself to, when things come to you, you question what they are because that's what the deal is. They're gonna bring you things that you don't know what they are. So spirit, what's that? So spirit, what's that thought that I just had? Spirit, who's that talking to my ear? Who is that spirit? What is that? What's that spirit? That's what they want. I've talked about that a million times, right? They're going to probe you. They're going to absolutely send you multiple stuff to see how conscious you are. And if you are conscious, more conscious than not, let's say, call it out, baby. Call it out. Call it out. Right? Because they're waiting. Oh, she missed that one. Oh, he missed that one too. See? But the, then the big stuff comes. You're like, really? Hmm. Like when Tammy showed up on my iPad. I could have very easily said, as I'd done twice before, and Spirit knew it, she popped up, she, her, her alert popped up on my iPad that she was doing an energy blast, and I, hmm, and I went onto Facebook. So this time they averted that, right? Went bring and like, oh, and all of a sudden her face showed up. In other words, hey, dumbass, watch this. Sometimes they gotta be blatant, right? True. Chimes. Especially with people like myself who are Capricorns and set in our ways and think, we, think that we run our world and things like that, right, right? So understanding that when something pops up on your phone, on your tablet, there's a reason why. If, it, if, it, if you don't know who it is, right? Didn't hurt to look. Could be something there that's for you. It probably is. See? Unless it's blatantly like, no, this is just spam. Scammy whammy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, see? So understanding that the more conscious you are going into fall and winter, the better fall and winter you're gonna have. Because it's coming no matter what, right? We can't change that. God, we can't change that. It's horrible, right? But we know what to, look, what to, what to expect because it's going to be intense. It's gonna be intense with COVID, with the, with the mask stuff, all that kind of stuff together. It's going to be extreme, extremely volatile, Spirit says, but we have to disengage from that, right? Because it can affect us. Yeah. And affect everything in our freaking lives. Yeah, yeah. And Spirit says also, you may have to have conversations with your friends that are not allowed to talk about things like that if they have different views than you. Even if they have the same views as you, don't talk about it, okay? Please don't talk about it. Because all that does is reinfect, it just, is re it just it, it reinfects you. Okay, family too. It's tough to do, but everybody, but everybody can do it, okay? Okay? Understanding that, um, that um, uh, the more conscious we are, the less we want to tie ourselves to 3D, to the energy that's going on in the world today that is Trying, that is trying to continually infect the people that are most volatile, that are most volatile, okay? So, enough of that. Now, I'm doing psychic fairs. I did a psychic fair last Sunday in Lake Orion, Michigan, and um, I did 29 readings in nine hours, okay? It was amazing. Um, and I'm doing one 
next weekend in Marysville uh, by Port Huron. And then I'm doing one again in St. Clair Shores. And it's all, it's all on my website, billhobart.com. And then the next, the, the 26th of September, I'm in Jackson um, on a Saturday. And then I haven't signed up for the ones in October yet, but I'll be signing up for those probably this probably next week. Um, and I know there's one every single weekend that I'm, go, I'm, going to, I'm going to be doing around Metro Detroit, okay? So if you're in Jackson, come and see me. Um, I'll be doing readings all day. I think it starts at 10, I think, until 7 or something like that. I'm not really sure. I haven't don't remember because they're all different times. Um, if you are in this side of the state and you're in um, around St. Clair Shores and things like that, I'll be there September 11th. And if you're up north, I call it up north, Marysville on Labor Day Saturday, I'll be there. Um, that's September, okay? Not doing, not, not, doing anything, not doing anything between St. Clair Shores and Jackson. It's, um, cause it's in Toledo. I can't drive an hour and a half one way and I, and I'm, and I can't be away, wait, I can't be away from Bailey for two days. It doesn't work. I was gone for a day. He's been sick almost, he's been sick five days in a row so far because I wasn't home. So that's how attached we are, um, spiritually. I mean, trust me, it is past dog and daddy syndrome. Yeah, okay. And I know that he's in that process of passing. So, um, yeah, so come on, see me. I'm still doing readings every day. Um, all on my website, billhober.com. Um, I am, I, I, I'm, I've got some videos that I've done that I haven't posted yet. Just about stuff. And I'm being guided to post those too on YouTube. So that may happen probably this weekend maybe, or maybe next, probably this weekend. If not then Monday, I think I've got five, six or seven that I was going to build a program around. But as soon as I started the program for, me for mentorship, Spirit said no, because I'm not gonna be here, okay? Be too hard to do it and not be here. Yeah, even with Zoom and stuff like that, if we are in Hawaii, it's six hours difference. Well, it's hard. And in Florida, who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows? So, um, yeah. So thanks for joining me on Coaching for the Soul. If you have any questions, again, don't feel free to call me, 248-310-7689. Um, um, text me, right? Um, yeah, I'm always available. I don't want anybody to feel like no one's paying attention, okay? Because that's not what it's all about. Um, and again, if you want to be part of Tammy's Spiritual Playground Group, send me a text, put it on here, okay? And, um, and um, I'll send an invite which has to go to Tammy first and then she sends you congratulations or whatever she does, okay? You've been accepted. Um, yeah, okay? It's a pretty cool group. Kind of like coaching for the soul, okay? So I'll be back next Thursday, Labor Day weekend already, wow, for coaching for the soul, Thursdays at three.